for that we have two spark pump sets. One for the internal automatic sprinkler system, and the other one for uh, high density system and fire hose system. And this is a thousand GMU capacity fire pump sets. And each fire pump set consists of three pumps. One is the diesel engine fire pump, which works on diesel like a generator, and the other one is jockey pump, and we have a main electric pump. And this, the first in case of a fire or any release of pressure, this jockey pump will be the first pump to start. This will maintain constant pressure inside the system. And the main purpose of this jockey pump is to for the fi initial filling of the system. Hmm. All the time, initial filling of the firefighting system should be done only with jockey, not with the diesel or not with the main electric pump. So once the main system is been filled with the jockey pump, then normally you can test the system with the diesel engine and electric pump. And in case once now this system, the high end system here in this project works in stands at 12 bar pressure. Hmm. And at the time when the pressure comes down below 12 bar, first the jockey pump will start. And then further uh, lowering the pressure below 9 bar, the electric pump will start. And once after the pressure goes below 4 bar, our diesel engine will start. This mainly happens in case there is no power supply. In other case, there is a constant power supply is there, the electric pump will maintain the pressure inside the system. So the main purpose of the diesel engine is a standby, which in case of a power failure due to fire, the diesel engine will maintain the fire lighting system pressure inside the fire. And this, this, this is our main suction header. We have 18 suction header. We all this can see this isolation wall. And this is our oscillating type isolation wall. You can, it should be visible that whether the valve is closed or not. So once the valve is in a closed position, the yoke will be in the down position. And in, instead of that, if you come to see this valve, you can see it in the set position. This means this valve is open. So it's, it's a kind of indication that the valves are closed or uh, open. And this is a 210 gallon fuel tank which serves the diesel engine for the hydrogen system. Okay. And you can see also the exhaust piping, diesel engine exhaust piping. And for this pump set, we have a 6 inch exhaust pipe. Whereas for the other pump, we have a 3 inch exhaust pipe. This is supposed to be insulated with a hot wood to prevent the heat and burns. And this line is already been insulated. And this is the silencer. And in, for the diesel engine, we have an additional pressure relief system. In case of the line system, the pressure inside the system is going beyond 12 bar. Means in case the diesel engine is continuously working with a higher than the required pressure, this PRE will bypass the additional water or pressure back to the storage tanks. So that constant pressure will be maintained irrespective of the diesel engine is working. And the next pump is the same electric pump. This is the same function as the diesel engine only. This is also 1000 GPM electric pumps. Mm. And these are being controlled by the controllers. You can see the, this is the electric pump controller. And this controller is for the jockey pump. And this one for the diesel. Okay, this is, this is what? This is for the electric pump controller. Okay. And these are being connected to the system in, through means of half inch lines which we special charge. Mm. And in any case, in case of a pressure drop in the system, that will be indicated to this uh, pressure transducer through these pipelines. Okay. And now we will go to the sprinkler system. Mm. So this is the pump system for, for automatic fire sprinkler. And this is a 450 GPM uh, pump set with one disc for the diesel and with for the jockey and the main electric pump. The same system is applicable here also. With the uh, same the first the jockey will start and after that the electric pump will start and then the diesel at the last. Okay. And so why we have two different systems? It should be the system should be separated. The sprinkler system should be, should not be in, uh, interfaced with the hydrogen system. There should be two separate pump sets working for that. Okay, so that's why we have a two pump. Yeah. So and one is for hydrant and one is for? For the sprinklers. The sprinklers. And the prime requirement for the hydrant is two hydrants should be working. That means okay. 100 dpm plus 100 dpm. Okay. Total 1000 dpm flow should be happening. Okay. So we cannot combine this two single sprinkler system pump set. It will be a huge pump. Okay. To provide that also we are having a separate pump for hydrant, separate okay. for the sprinkler. Okay. And here we have an alarm valve. You can see overhead here. This is an alarm check wall. This will prevent the backflow of water from the system inside okay. back to the pump. Okay. And also, if there is a flow through this uh, alarm check wall, there will be an alarm bomb which will indicate the fire pump is working. Okay. So you can see one line going up to the, the, the alarm which is fixed outside the pump. Okay. 
this is an indication for those who are outside, like fire pump is working and something has gone wrong. Okay. So this is the same pump system? Same same system. This is electrical pump. This is diesel. Diesel. This is diesel. The other jockey and the electric pump. Okay. So why we have this much connection? So many connections. So these are the main uh, isolation valves for the tank. So this is to just isolate the storage tank from the system. Storage tank to the system. system. These are two isolation valves and these are voice trainers. Okay. This is to prevent the solid particles from inside the tank to okay. go inside the pump. Okay. Because it may damage the impellers of the pump. Okay. So not to prevent, but it's not a mandatory as per NFPA, but still we provide that. It is not. It can be. It can be avoided also. So do you have some gauge or meters also to monitor all yeah, these things? These are the flow meters. These are the primarily for the community purposes to make sure that the pump is working with a repair device. Okay. So when this is a suction, there is a discharge test day. Okay. Means in order to test the pumps, you don't have to link the system with the building. Okay. So that we will isolate the building from the pump room and we will return back the water okay. from the pump back to the storage tank itself. Okay. This is primarily for uh, commissioning purposes. Okay. So through that gauge you can, you can read what is the flow of the pump at the present time. Okay. For commissioning activity? For commissioning activities we have to make sure the whole storage tanks are filled with water and our system is already clear inside the pump room. So and to do the commissioning, these pump sets and the controllers are preset. So all the settings has been done as per our requirements for 9 bar, 12 bar pressure. So during commissioning they will check when working these pumps are as per the pressure requirements. That means when there is a depression in the pressure inside the pipelines or the system, the pump should automatically start and automatically stop. That is a prime requirement and also the required flow rate is there with the pumps run. So for that reason we have this uh, flow meters here which we saw before. So while doing commissioning, they will start the pump and they will run the pumps at 150 percentage of the required flow rate. So here they, they, instead of 1000 GPM, they will run the pumps manually for 1500 GPM to make sure the pumps are working at 150 percentage of our uh, main power supply. They want the jockey pump and the diesel engine pump to be working. Which pump? This is a jockey pump okay. and the diesel engine pump. These both pumps should be functional. Okay. It is much better if we have the electric pump also, but since we don't have a permanent power supply, hmm. we cannot commission these pumps okay. since they're drawing too much current. Okay. So for the time being, they want only the jockey pump and the diesel pump. Okay. And the main requirement for the ROP is only the diesel pump because in case of a fire, hmm. always the power supply will be cut off. Hmm. And in that case, the main requirement will be from the diesel engine. So the diesel engine should be operational at all time at any cost. अब वीडियो फिनिश होने के बाद मैं एक्सपेक्ट करता हूं कि आपने जरूर कुछ ना कुछ नया सीखा होगा इस वीडियो से जरूर कुछ ना कुछ नया इनसाइट मिला होगा और हम चाहते हैं कि आप हमसे जुड़े रहें प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल ताकि हम आपके लिए ऐसे नए और बेहतरीन वीडियोस लाते रहें और प्रैक्टिकल इनसाइट्स को लेके आए थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग